The original uh, contamination was found in 2001, and the location of the contamination was within a block or two of our public water supply field. And currently, the city of Salina gets approximately 50% of their water supply from this well field. So the well field is very critical to the community and the future of our city. Coke Industries bought the property as part of a larger acquisition in 1990, never operated anything at this particular site, and then found a buyer in 1995. So we owned the property for five years there in the middle. Coke, when they became involved in the project, it was really a surprise to the city of Salina because from our understanding, they had never done any business on this site and were not responsible for the contamination. So for them to step in and do what they did and spend millions of dollars to ensure that the city of Salinas community and water supply was safe was, was almost unbelievable, unheard of. The, the shallow nature of the, of the aquifer makes it susceptible to surface contaminants like the one that occurred here. As the city pumped the wells harder and harder during the drought uh, of, of five, ten years ago, uh, the contaminant was mobilized and moved deeper and deeper into the city's well field. The most critical step was to try to clean up the aquifer to where the city could once again pump water. And so we focused originally on controlling the contaminant plume after it left the site. I think it all boils down to an industrial partner in a community making investments into the value of that community. We're trying to do what's right and we're focusing our resources to reach that objective. When I look at, back at this project and I think about how things could have been had Coke not stepped in and, and helped solve the problem, that we could still be dealing with that today and have a limited water supply from our downtown well field. So on a, a one to 10 with 10 being the most important, I rate this as a number 10. It was critical to the future of Salina.